The original Joker ending might have been as divisive as Joker fully ended, or maybe not. A new article is coming out from Screen Rant that suggests that Christopher Nolan nixed the original idea for Joker 1's ending. A spectacular ending in which Arthur Fleck is on the roof of the car and paints a smile on his face of blood. An iconic moment for sure, but the original idea was not that. Let's look at this article right here from Screen Rant. Check it out. Let's make it a little bit bigger. How about that? Screen Rant saying, Christopher Nolan killed the original Joker Joker ending's gruesome face carving scene, says New DC Report. The Dark Knight trilogy director Christopher Nolan reportedly had Warner Brothers change Joker's ending in order to avoid comparisons between Joaquin Phoenix's and Heath Ledger's Jokers. Following Joker Felia does release, The Hollywood Reporter reports that original plans for Todd Phillips' Joker featured Joaquin Phoenix's Joker carving the Glasgow smile on his face instead of smearing blood on his mouth. Allegedly, the Dark Knight director, Nolan, Christopher Nolan, asked this scene to be modified as Phoenix's Joker smile would look too similar to Heath Ledger's iconic Joker score. There you have that right there. My opinion on this is I think, I think Christopher Nolan is dead on. And I'm someone who likes Joker for Leo De, I like the ending. But that little bit in the back when you see him, that is unnecessary to me. I know what you're trying to do. But the thing with the Joker is the Joker, like especially in the Dark Knight and all over you know, comic history, the Joker's origin story is unknown. He is a mystery in and of himself. And when you start to connect these dots and tie these pieces together, you know, it's like what they were doing with James Bond. It doesn't all need to connect all the time, right? But especially in this instance, how did I get these star scars? I don't need to know how you got those scars. That's the mystery is what I love about it. And even though they are different, they did get someone who didn't look too different from Heath Ledger in this, which could throw you off as well. So in, in my opinion, I look, I like the, I think the ending works. I have my own thoughts on the ending, how I perceive it, but also on its own, I actually kind of think it does work in finishing off Arthur Fleck's story. If you go into it watching it for Arthur Fleck's story, you might see it that way, but if you go in for the Joker, which I, which if it's called the Joker, so there's no fault if you do, you might not, and you might, and you might, even if you see Arthur Fleck's story, you still might not like it, like it. That's all subjective, whatever. Who cares? My opinion, my point though, is that I just don't think they made the right choice with that. I think Christopher Nolan, I, now, I don't think he should be the only Joker with that distinct look. I just think, especially in movie terms, especially when you're doing it. And Arthur Fleck and Joaquin Phoenix's Joker was so different from Heath Ledger's anyway. Why connect them at all? Let them live separately. And I think that the blood, painting it with blood, was so genius. It's I think for me personally, it's it's a better visual in that moment. Otherwise, it's pretty gruesome if he's doing it. I think like Heath Ledger is iconic and he looks fantastic. And, and I'm not saying that and I'm not knocking that. I'm just saying a visual of what Joaquin Phoenix does, I don't think would have been the same. If they would have gone, it wouldn't have been the same if they did it the way they supposedly wanted to do it. And I say kudos to Christopher Nolan for making that decision. He also didn't want them to kill Zod and Man of Steel. But that's a story for another day. I think he's right on. What do you guys think? Did Christopher Nolan make the right choice in nixing Joaquin Phoenix's uh, gruesome cutting of his cheeks to force a permanent smile on his face in the very first Joker. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Give us a like and subscribe. And until next time, maybe the master of your own universe.